everyone in this video I'm gonna show you the difference between 2s 3s and 4s running on 20% uh, throttle I'm using the Flysky FS GT5 and I'm limiting the throttle to 20% because over over the 20% it's way too much for for this test so let's go for it okay um, so for a start I'm gonna I'm gonna use this 2s battery this is fully charged as well as the other ones so let's see what happens at 20% Okay. Okay, this was full throttle. For 3S, I'm using this this battery. Okay. Again, with 20% throttle. You can easily tell the difference. It's way different than with the two cells only. Okay. So. And to test 4S, I don't have a, f a 4S battery. So I'm using two equivalent uh, 2S batteries. Uh, these are the ones, they are fully charged. And I created this series connector, uh, XT60, uh, in order to connect them and convert in a 4S battery. Uh, remember that if you connect the batteries in series, uh, you double the number of cells, but you keep the same um, 3,300 3, milliamps in this case. But if I connected the in parallel, uh, this would double and I would keep the 2S. So I want the 4S, so let's go for it. Okay. Let's see what happens. As you can tell, it's way, way, way faster with the 4S. So let me show you what I'm using. I'm using the Shiran 120 amps 2 to 4S LiPo, uh, and uh, the motor is a Race Star. Let me see if I can show you a Race Star 360, uh, 3660, uh, 3800 uh, kilovolts. So this is what I'm using. And I hope this helps you understand what is the difference, what difference does it make a battery uh, when you connect it to your RC car. I hope this is helpful for you. Cheers.